Hi, I'm Jeffrey. In my last video, we talked about building a UV curing machine. Today, I'm excited because we're going to actually finally run the test files on this U-Disk, which was included with the LA Gumars 2 Pro in my unboxing video. I learned that after you run your print files, there's a post process which we'll do today. So I'm going to run the t test files and then do the two post process steps which is washing it and then curing your prints before you can f actually handle it with your hands. So let's go ahead and do that today and get started. So I have here in front of me two resins that I bought. Okay, This one here on your left is the standard proto polymer resin. This one here on the right is a water washable photo polymer resin. What's different about these two is this one requires isopropyl alcohol in the washing post process. But in the post process of washing your prints with this one, you can just use plain water. Well, I can't find any isopropyl alcohol in the stores because it's recommended that you use 95%. I can't get that. So when I get my hands on that stuff, I will do some prints with this. What is inside this water washable photopolymer resin. Okay? All right. It says avoid direct sunlight, keep indoors and sealed. Make sure that I do this in a uh, environment of 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, which is 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. Very nicely bubble wrapped. This is, did not know that. Anything else? Oh, look at here. Got a nice little paintbrush. Actually, this is like a kind of a big paintbrush. Wonder what, what to use this for. And, yeah, that's it. Let's open it. All right. You got to be very careful with this stuff. Shake well before use, and wear gloves and mask to avoid direct skin contact. It says keep away from children, dust, and direct sunlight. Wash with plenty of water immediately if you get direct skin contact with resin. I also read that uh, if it bothers you so much, to immediately go and contact your doctor. So this stuff is seriously toxic. All right, so I need to be very careful handling this. So this is very, very dangerous. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my gloves. You definitely do not want to get this on my skin because I do not want to go to the doctor. I got my gloves and definitely want to protect my eyes. So if I splash any resin, I make sure I have my mask ready. And you want to also make sure that you have plenty of paper towels, just in case you spill anywhere. First thing, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. All right. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. So just remember, before you go and run your test file, you need to set your build plate, which we have already done that. You can watch that in my previous video on how to set the build plate. And now I'm going to go ahead and t uh, take the U-Disc and I'm going to plug it in. This is where you're going to want to put on your mask. All right, so I'm ready to use this resin. 
Shake it up really good. Yeah, you gotta shake it up really good, okay? All right. Shake that up pretty good. Okay. So it says to go ahead and you're gonna wanna fill it up one third of the tank. So I'm gonna slowly pour this in. So I got a leveler right here. I'm gonna just check to make sure my table's leveled right here. Yep. Just make sure you level your table. You want it to be leveled. All right, so what we're gonna do now is hit print. And our Rook files are in this folder. So there it is. LA Gumars 2 Pro Rook model for printing. And we're gonna hit start. That's it. We're gonna wanna go ahead and keep this covered. Because you kind of you don't want the any sunlight to hit the resin, so the cover actually helps. And so let's just go ahead and watch what happens. Our print is done. It's 100% complete in two hours and 37 minutes. So now we can go ahead and take our print out. So we're gonna hit confirm. All right, time to pull this off. And we wanna be very careful when we take it off. It does have kind of a strong smell. Now, in my unboxing, I didn't realize what this was, but I figured out later that it's actually to help for it to drip the excess resin back into the vat. So we'll unscrew this up here, slide this off. So, it's supposed to be like this, kind of just help drip it. Leave it there for a little bit for it to drip, and then it's time for the post process. First, we need to wash our prints. Go ahead and take this out, and we can go ahead and stick this in here to wash. And you want to wash it for like, you know, for like two minutes. I'm just stirring it around. So make sure you have some paper towels so you can put your your print on to rest. I'm just gonna do this for now. All right, and then before I take off the print, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and pour the resin back into the bottle because I don't plan to use this for another. 48 hours so we can go ahead and unplug this okay I'm gonna cut that off I got my resin bottle pouring jar I got my filter so it recommends to pour this into here first and then pour it back into the resin uh, container 
I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this. And I hope I don't make a big mess. Maybe I'll, I'm going to get some paper towels just in case I spill. I don't want to have any accidents. Oh so yeah, that does not pour very well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop because it's like almost full. Okay. I'm going to try and see if this pour is easy. Guess I'll try to pour the rest of this back in. I do not know if there is an easier way to do this, but I definitely got to be careful because I do not want any of this to get on me or on my workspace. All right, I just finished rinsing this and the jar. Let's just take another paper towel. Just kind of dry it. Just want to make sure it's. I just want to make sure that it's just very dry. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. All right. Screw the screws back on. Go ahead and use. Go ahead and get my scraper. And see if we can gently get this off. It's like on there pretty tight. We'll see if I can use the metal one. See if that works better. It's like a like a rock. It's like on there pretty tight. Oh man, that is stuck on there. Whoa. All right. Lost one. <laughs> this is not easy. Here, I'm going to do it like this. This is probably a better idea. So if I lose it, it'll go into the water. There you go. Should have done that. That's, that's a better idea. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the water. All right. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and leave that there while I clean my bill plate. So, yep. so I'm just using some isopropyl alcohol to clean. I mean, this is the highest that I have, 70%. So... I'm just using alcohol because it's just evaporates quick, it's easy, it's fast. So you, know, you just want to make sure you get all that residue off. Okay. I kind of like the smell. It's pretty strong. Oh man, I got some scratches already on the build plate. I don't know if you can see that. That's from using the, the metal scraper. Yeah. Oh well. Wonder if there's some like better way to like avoid that. Maybe I don't know if that'll affect future prints. But um just gonna go ahead and put it back on. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. And I'll just shake all the excess water off and any uncured resin that might be still on it. You just want to make sure you just dry this really good. I read online you can use a blow dryer to help like dry it faster before you 
cure your prints. But um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pat it dry. Now it's time to cure our prints after we're done washing it. So let's go ahead and put it inside. I've already one and put my two prints on top of two glass bowls, and that looks fine. Okay, so just make sure you just close your lid, and time to turn it on. All right, it's definitely on. Just take a quick peek, see what it looks like. Oh yeah, it's on. So yeah, we're just gonna leave this in here for about two to four minutes. After you put your prints inside the UV curing machine, you can then take off your gloves and then mask. Just be careful not to get it on yourself. You don't want any uncure resin to touch your skin. It's very toxic. And it's very toxic for the environment. Speaking of that, when you dispose of the water that we just used to clean our prints, you want to leave it outside for three days in direct sunlight. Okay. Because you want to give it enough time for any uncured resin to cure before disposing of it. If you don't wait, it's very bad for the environment, super toxic. So just be responsible. All right, it's time to check on our prints. It's been about two to four minutes, so let's check it out. All right, guys, here's a close-up of the test file after it has been cured. And it's just amazing to see that double helix and staircase going up in the middle. There's also some words on the top there. I'm not sure if I can focus in on that very well, but it's, it's definitely legible. I've not done anything to like clean it up. But as you can see, just really cool. Here's the other print. Just a really fine close up. I mean, I have literally done nothing. Just wash and cure. And that's the full process to printing out the test files from LA Gumars to Pro. Next time, I plan to print out the other models that were included from my mini factory. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment. Till next time, happy printing.